In the following tutorial, we're going to look at different ways of selecting multiple clips on the timeline. The first method for selecting multiple clips is using the arrow tool. So I have my arrow tool selected here on the toolbar, and I've got two main ways of selecting more than one clip. The first one is lassoing. If I click in the blank area next to some clips and hold my mouse down and drag, it creates a marquee. As that marquee draws over a clip, as soon as it touches any of the individual clips, it will select those clips. If I drag downwards, you'll see it includes then the clips on a different track. And when I let go, those clips are now selected. I can move them, delete them, copy and paste them if I wanted to. What if I want to select multiple clips but not as a group? So if I just click away on a blank part of the timeline again just to deselect them. The second method for selecting clips is shift clicking. So if I click on a single clip there, then I hold my shift key down and click on other clips. As you can see, as I click on them, it selects those clips, but doesn't necessarily select everything in between the clips that have been selected. The third method for selecting multiple clips is using a couple of additional tools. And these tools are the track select forwards tool. This is the tool just underneath the arrow tool. If I hold my mouse down on that, there's another tool there, the track select backwards tool. I'll do the track select forwards first. Now, this one allows you to select clips forwards on the timeline from wherever you click. So if I click on this middle clip here, it selects everything on all tracks beyond that point. As you can see, as I click backwards or forwards, it amends that selection. So anything forwards from that point gets selected. The advantage of this is it might be that you want to move a section of clips. So let's say for the sake of argument, if I just zoom in slightly now, I want to move this interview clip here and all of the other clips, the cutaways that go with it, forwards on my timeline. Now the problem is, to do that conventionally, I would have to zoom out enough so I can select all the clips and then start moving them. If I only wanted to move them a tiny amount, a few frames, that becomes quite difficult because I'm too far zoomed out. So I'd have to zoom right in and then move the clips. The advantage of the track select forwards tool is I can start zoomed in, click on the tool, know for definite that it's picked up all of the clips beyond that point, and then click and move them. And I can move them a few frames because I'm zoomed in enough or seconds or whatever I want to do. The track select backwards button does exactly the same thing as track select forwards but backwards. So you know that you've picked up all clips backwards from whatever clip you click on. 